Mexican folklore has its origins in ancient native mythology. Combine that with European legends brought by Spanish explorers and many centuries of bloody history. What you get is a collection of some of our world's darkest legends. There is a creature in northern Mexico that appears as a giant owl, big enough to match its hunger for humans. It is a shape-shifting witch only emerging at night to hunt people. The creature usually has the body of a massive owl but the head of an old woman. If you see it in your dreams, someone in your family will soon fall victim to it. The creature stops at nothing to kill its target, swooping down on them before they realize. If under shelter, it will cry like a baby to lure you into the open where it will attack. If one single feather from it touches your skin, you will die. It was created when a woman was falsely accused of being a witch and killed. Satan gave her a chance for revenge, transforming her into a real witch. And since that day, she has hunted those who remind her of her killers. There is a man who wanders the earth carrying a sack full of human bones. He is 10 foot tall, but deformed and hunched over. He is known to enter the home of sleeping victims at night where he opens the sack to count each bone one by one. If the sound of his counting disturbs your sleep enough to wake you up, it will scare him away and you will be safe. But if you don't notice his presence by the morning, you will never wake up. He was once an ordinary human boy, but after witnessing his father murder his mother, he in turn stabbed his father to death. But his grandfather could not forgive this. He tied the boy to a tree and whipped his back until it was bloody. Throwing the father's bones into a sack, he cursed the boy to carry them on his now deformed back. From that day, he has walked the earth unable to die, moving from one victim to another. Long ago, there was a man suffering tuberculosis. In those days, little could be done to cure the disease, but he was desperate. So desperate that he sought the advice of an African witch doctor. The witch doctor told him that by drinking the blood of a child, his illness would be cured. And so he took to the streets searching for a child to murder. But when he did eventually drink the blood of a child he killed, something much worse than tuberculosis took hold of him. His body faded as he became transparent like a shadow, but his eyes glue bright red. In this ghost-like form, he continues his search for more children, hoping their blood will make him human again. They call him El Cucuy, a name that is feared everywhere Spanish is spoken. In a hospital that no longer exists, something terrible once happened. A nurse working there fell in love with a doctor, but he had no interest in her. Years of heartbreak drove her insane and she began to murder patients under her care. As more and more patients fell victim to her, the hospital was shut down due to the body count. Fearing she would be exposed as the killer, she commits suicide. But rejected from both heaven and hell, her ghost soon returned to hospitals. She now appears in hospitals looking for new victims to quietly murder. Many centuries ago, there was a beautiful woman. She had broken countless hearts but never been in love, until she fell for a Spanish noble. In those days, a wealthy noble like him was not meant to be with a poor woman like her, but her beauty won him over. They were together only for a brief time until she revealed her two children to him. He immediately lost interest on finding out she was a mother and ended the affair. Heartbroken and enraged, she drowned her young children in a nearby river, hoping to win him back. But this of course didn't make him want her, so she drowned herself in the same river. Her ghost now wanders beside rivers weeping and searching for a way to redeem her soul. Any lone child who encounters the ghost will be drowned by it, just as her own children were. In the middle of a store in northern Mexico, there is a mannequin avoided by locals. Since its installation in 1930, it has made customers feel uncomfortable, as they felt like its eyes would follow them around the store. Employees would claim to see it move when the store was closed. Word soon spread that it was haunted. It does look eerily lifelike. In fact, it resembles the daughter of the store's original owner, who died just before it was installed. They say the mannequin is her corpse preserved. 
1593, a strange, confused man was found wandering the streets of Mexico City. He was Gil Perez, a man who claimed to be a Spanish explorer stationed in the Philippines. He could not explain how he came to be in Mexico, telling that in the blink of an eye he was teleported across the globe. No one believed his story and he was accused of deserting his military service, for which he was thrown in jail. He told them about how the governor of the Philippines was assassinated just before his teleportation, but still no one believed him. Months later, a ship from the Philippines docked in Mexico. Its crew told of how their governor had been assassinated around the time Gil Perez was found in Mexico. One of them even recognized Gil. It remains one of history's greatest mysteries. In Central Mexico is an 18th century mansion. There are many grand buildings in Central America, but this one was home to a Victorian serial killer who practiced witchcraft. In 1890, employees of Tado Meyer's mining company invaded the home and stabbed his wife to death. The trauma of this triggered some kind of psychosis within him. He became obsessed with the idea of raising her from the dead. Visiting a local witch, he soon began practicing occult rituals and sacrificing live humans to the devil. It's unclear how many he killed to bring back his wife, but the ghosts of his victims are said to attack anyone to disturb them. In the city of San Luis Potosi is an alleyway said to be haunted. In 1780, a Spanish priest came to the area, which at the time was a small town. He bought a house and hired two teenage boys to help his missionary work. One day, the boys came to his house, as they did each morning, but to their horror, they discovered the priest lying dead in a pool of blood. It was clear he had been murdered, but there was no sign of who killed him. With no evidence either way, the boys were soon blamed. They were hanged by the neck until dead. Their hands were then cut off and nailed to the walls of an alley outside the priest's home. Since that day, ghostly hands have appeared floating in the air to greet those who enter the alley, or to warn them depending on what you believe. The name El Chupacabra literally means the goat sucker. It belongs to a strange blood-sucking monster, a reptilian wolf with long fangs. No photographs of the creature exists, but countless farm owners claim to have seen it drain the blood of their livestock. El Chupacabra stands five foot tall and is strong enough to kill any human, holding its victims down with its long claws while it drains them of blood completely. Hundreds of attacks have been reported, with each report ending the same. El Chupacabra disappears into the night, leaving no trace behind other than its victims' corpses. 